What is going on guys? I got some Titanfall gameplay. I just got the beta key about a month ago or so and I finally got another one and this time we're actually allowed to post the gameplay so that's why I'm doing this for you guys and this is some attrition which is like team deathmatch and right now I'm playing as a pilot as you can see. I did really good in this game going a total score of 23 and 4 I think. I'll check real quick. Uh, but this game is just, it's crazy fun, and if you guys have the beta key, I recommend getting this. So yes, I went 23 and 4, uh, but I want to get into that. So, you guys might be thinking, wow, 23 and 4, that is crazy. No, it's not that crazy. If you go right down to the bare bones, I technically went 11 and 4. Uh, there's, I don't know if you guys heard computer slash AI players constantly in every match. So for the shitty people, no offense to you guys, but for the shitty people that are not very good at this game or were, I mean, good at Call of Duty, they have the opportunity now to do fairly well. You know, you're going to be killing some grunts, and that's what they're called, and you get some kills out of it. You know, it's not, you don't get as much XP, obviously, but you're getting your kills, and you're not doing so shit. So, I think they implemented that so people don't feel so bad while you're playing the game. That's uh, actually a really smart thing to do. Uh, so, there's grunts throughout the online game when you're playing the battle. Uh, so, really, I went 11 and 4 because I killed 11 people. Uh, technically, actually, 11, 12, and 14 and 4 because I killed three Titans. Now, you guys must know what Titans are if you've like read upon this game and watched videos on it. Titans are those big robots that are fighting and you can actually take control of. Now, when you kill other Titans, which are other online people controlling them, that counts as a kill, right? So... Technically, I did 11, 12, 14, and 4, which isn't too bad online. That's 14 kills against other online players and 4 deaths. That's very good, actually, if you count it. That's over a 3 KD ratio. You're going to go into that much detail. And then I got 9 kills on grunts. So, I mean, like, what I like that they first of all did was they made it so for people that are really bad at first mission shooters, they made it fun for them as well, and that's something that Call of Duty okay, has never on. done before. They right. had their little, like, like private solo lobby where you can practice you against, you know, AI, but I mean, you weren't really online. They didn't, like, act real. They were literally just walking around into walls and shit. It just, it wasn't very really fun. And for them to do that online, that's just very smart. And it's gonna make it's gonna make a lot of people more happier when you're playing this game. Cause I know for me, when I'm playing Call of Duty and I'm doing that, it makes me very pissed off. I don't really want to play the game anymore. And that's what that's what, that's what people get mad when they're playing Call of Duty. This game is trying to at least you know you want to be competitive when you're playing this game. But if you're having just a shit day, you can still do all right killing the grunts. And that is just that that's a good move on respawn's part. Uh, so, I mean, this, this game is going to be crazy. Now, there's lots of controversy whether this game is going to be like a one-month deal where it's going to be fun for a month and then it's just going to go to shit. I personally believe it's going to be better than just for one month. Uh, I mean, like, this is just the beta. We're playing on two maps. There's only so much unlocked for us. Can you imagine all the other maps are going to have included? Uh, all the other guns, all the other Titan upgrades, all the other pilot upgrades. You're going to have a lot of stuff available. Possibly, I mean, they should have appearance upgrades. You can change the way your Titan or pilot looks. I mean, there's, there's just so much room for opportunities. And I, I really feel this is going to be a real, real competitor for Call of Duty. Uh, for this year, though, I think Call of Duty, obviously, with Ghosts, uh, has got the win just because of the game. It's made so much money. But you give this game a couple years, you let a sequel of Titanfall come out, or even uh, another sequel, so I have three of them come out, uh, trilogy, it's gonna, it could, it could possibly end the series for Call of Duty, uh, just like how uh, Skate, uh, I don't know if you guys ever remember this, it's kind of like a side, it doesn't really have to do that with anything to do with first person shooters, but if you guys remember, Activision used to make Tony Hawk Pro Skater and all of those skateboarding games. Then EA came out with Skate, which is a skateboarding game, and if you haven't realized, after that point, when, when Skate came out, where did Tony Hawk go? They stopped making Tony Hawk games, and that's what I think that this will do. EA, which is Respawn Entertainment making this game, former co-founder of Call of Duty, they're coming for a Respawn, and they're gonna, they're gonna change, they're gonna change the ground field a lot, which is 
game in the industry. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't see Call of Duty being much better than it is right now. I mean, they had a huge recession in sales with uh, Ghost. I mean, they still made a whole lot of money, but it's just not as popular as it used to be. And it's just because it's a recycled game with the same old, same old, same old. And then Titanfall is different, and that's what people like. They like different. It's like eating the same sandwich every day. No one likes to eat the same sandwich. Uh, personally, I don't even eat my sandwiches, but whatever. Um, this game is just crazy, and I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm actually going to be pre-ordering it and getting it when it comes out. It's just such a phenomenal game, and if you have an Xbox 360, you can get it on there as well. Titanfall is coming out on the Xbox 360, which is really good. So, so far it's going to be coming out for the Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. And eventually, PlayStation 4 will have this game as well. Uh, obviously, Microsoft licensed the rights to Titanfall for a little bit, uh, just so they can get some extra money and they can win over people to buy their Xboxes. It's a little bit shitty to do, it's a shitty move, but I mean, it's their way of making money and every business needs to make money, right? So, I mean, if they can license a pretty popular game and make some, make a large deal of money, because I mean, a lot of people that want to play this game that don't have the Xbox One, We'll go out and get the Xbox One. Like it's just gonna happen. So uh, they're gonna they're gonna get a lot of money out of it. And it's too bad Sony didn't license this game before them. Uh, tough luck, but I mean they should uh, maybe possibly license other games in the future. But anyways, guys, we're getting near the end of this gameplay here. Uh, like I said, this is attrition gameplay, which is like team deathmatch. Your objective is to kill the other team, and the most points wins. As you can see on the bottom left of the HUD. You can see who's winning, which is them right now. We're, we're blue, right? We're the militia. Uh, at this point, I just talked to my Titan. They're about to lose. We're on the last stand. This is where we had to turn it up, and that's what I did. I turned it up. I freaking murked a lot of people right here. It was just it was awesome. I uh, had a lot of fun in this Titan, and uh, we ended up pulling up the victory, as you'll see in a few moments. Uh, but it's just it's crazy just the aspect of how you can just fight in the pilot and fight in the Titan. It's really awesome. But guys, leave some comments below what you think of this game. If you guys are planning on getting this game, I, I recommend getting it. I'm going to be getting it. Uh, so I do recommend right, that you guys get this game. But tell me, what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to flop? Or do you think it's going to be the next Call of Duty? Do you think it's going to kill Call of Duty? Do you think Call of Duty is going to be around? Leave your comments below, your opinions, anything you want to say. Leave them below and uh, I'll try and get back to you guys. If you have any questions that you're asking me in the comments, I usually like to comment back. But right here, as you can see, we took the victory, and this is another cool thing, is when a team loses Dominate. or wins, they actually have to get to their, like, drop-off so they can get picked the up and get rescued. And the whole I've point of that, it's like an epilogue, you. you try Take and get out before, they get away. before you get killed. But once you get killed, it's like you're dead, right? It's like search and destroy, there's no respawn. So that Rock guy that I just roll. killed there is not going to respawn, but you try and destroy, destroy the ship before the they leave, or try and stop the whole enemy team from away. escaping, right? Which we did so, none of them got in the actual ship there, as you can see. Unfortunately though, the ship got away, but you can blow up the ship as well. It's pretty awesome, it's a real cool aspect of this game. But anyways guys, so far I'm loving it. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know and I will do so. And uh, please like the video, that'd be really greatly appreciated. And follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Thanks guys, see ya.